It's so nice outside. It's in the 60s today, and compared to last week, it's way warmer. I mean, last week, you know, we had snow and everything else. So today I'm gonna do something that I've done before on this channel, and if you're new, or you haven't seen that video, basically what I'm gonna do is a song walkthrough of a spontaneous moment at church, and I'll kinda go over what my, uh, what the thought process was behind each part, and if I deviated from what is written, why I did that, and that, that whole thing. So, let's get into it. So whenever we make a, make a transition like from like a down moment into a different song, I'll kind of do like cymbal swells and there's a couple reasons I do that. Uh, one of the reasons being it kind of tells the congregation, hey, something else is happening, dynamics are lifting a little bit, we're transitioning into something else. Another reason is if the songs are in different keys and if the keys don't complement each other, it really helps to kind of cover that up so that it doesn't feel as like awkward when music stops being played because there's at least some kind of sound on stage like covering that that awkwardness up. Just wanted to address that before we continue. So this is what's written, but I'm using mallets so that it, uh, again, it gives me room to grow dynamically because this song grows basically the entire length of the song. So I want to start off giving myself a lot of room to move forward and a mallet on a floor tom kind of does that I'm still keeping that going because the guitars are doing like that chunky, like dunk, 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 dunk type of thing. So that kind of helps rhythmically so I don't have to cover as much ground. For the chorus, I'm gonna lift it a little bit by adding kick drum and then doing 16ths on the ride. And that's so that it gives me like a consistent wash, but I don't, I don't want the, the, the wash to overpower everything else. I just want to give it kind of like a bass, if that makes sense. So that's why I'm doing, doing that. Second time round, I added, just did four on the floor for the kick drum to lift the energy again. But still keeping it chill and mellow for this, this chorus. So I'm, again, I'm, I'm lifting the bridge just with a single, single rides to like give it more energy. And now I transition those quarter note hits to the other crash cymbal while I'm doing the 16th note thing on the other ride again to give it some more energy but still not add too much. Again, I'm not doing four on the floor, I'm doing those three notes. That way, the next section I can kind of drop in and do a little bit more. Now the four on the floor is starting. Again, everything's kind of picking up with energy and I still have room to grow. And now I build. So before we before we go on, uh, that whole bridge I had like, you know, like different stages that I was building, but I also had like a theme, and like the theme would have been like if I had to pick an instrument for the the theme to be, it would be the the ride symbol. Like that kind of stayed consistent through the entire thing. It just does different variations and everything. The the drum set kind of joined it as the energy grew to help lift it and s support the song properly. That's the, when I'm like doing this stuff and like I'm changing parts, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about like, what's the theme of this, this section of the song and what 
can I do to kind of help whatever that, that theme or the staple like instrument is for that, that section. Doing slams. This is where the pastor's on stage, so now we're going into like the spontaneous moment. Like the, the part that we like scheduled out is completely, completely done, and now we're just kind of feeling it out. Now, you'll notice when we went down, I immediately started doing like floor tom and kick drum things. And that's because I still, I didn't want the energy to completely die down to be like a somber moment. Uh, I wanted it to still like kind of feel energetic because like energy doesn't just have to go up. It can also go down when you're like navigating songs and everything else. So you're not always just making a vertical rise. You can also be going lower than that to kind of bring the energy to more of a somber moment instead of uh, like a, a hype moment, I guess. And that's what I did there. Loves me, that he's for me, that he's good, that he goes before me, that he's all around me, that he comes behind me and he cleans up my messes. How many know he's a good God like that today? Kind of going with the but response of the crowd to help celebrate if I need to. Revelation is not just for you. See, we serve a God that is generational in the sense that I love throughout the old time. When I'm doing these these moments, I kind of have like a bass groove, which is what I'm doing there with the kick drum, floor tom, and the hi hats, and I'll kind of rise and fall from that. But that'll be like my home plate for the, those moments. And every moment's gonna look a little bit different, and every like home plate is gonna look different for this moment. That's what worked. So, but he is known as the God of Abraham. He's known as the God of Isaac, and he's also known as the God of Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, generation after generation. So get this, the blessing over your life, the obedience in your life, the faithfulness in your life, the worship in your life, the prayer in your life, the favor on your life. Lifting it a little because his voice and flexions are getting a little more energetic. To generation to generation. If you are thankful and believe that your praise is not just about your moment, but it's about your kids and your children's children, Still lifting it. I'm not committed to a build yet because I don't know if that's what we're going into. Now I'm doing snap build. And now I'm doing a build because I know we're back in the song. And I can build it from there. A lot of times with that stuff, like if you're not in the song yet, you have to be careful to, to not overcommit yourself because that, there's nothing worse than having to like duck right back down when you're in the middle of a huge build because you're not actually going in that direction. So for me, that's kind of what I do to kind of navigate that and to basically make triple check to make sure that I can actually do a build into a song, if that makes sense. Lifting it again, max energy, or close to it, I guess. Now I'm just driving it. But still have like a groove. This is like build slash driving it. See, when we say amen, it means yes, so be. And then we kind of went back down to that home plate thing and felt the, the rest of the section out. But yeah, that that's honestly about it. The biggest thing for stuff like this is to like find like a theme or like a home plate that you can go for w with flowing. That way like you can like return to that if like you do like some like stuff to increase the energy and uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, it's basically just all like giving yourself like room to grow and then things that you can do to kind of like go back down if you need to and stuff like that.
I think that is uh, basically it. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, comment down below or hit the like button to let me know that you enjoy it and I'll do more of them. On that note, I'm calling the vlog here today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on when I upload more videos like this and other things to this channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.